strike up a tune. Harken well in the continuation. Fortifications there, I want.
Altar is lost in hell by now. They will have the lost souls of the dead to answer to. Soma. Eivor, you're still with me through all this. Do not think I'll forget. We all need someone in dark times. Now let's collect Wickman's head. Good. At the first sign of trouble, my crew will jump in. Hope he likes the view. It's the last he'll ever see. Lightning tingles my. What do you see, Sunim? It doesn't leave this monastery alive.
Come here a moment. Time has come for you. me, to banish me from your minds. Fight in my name. Die for me. Die for me. That is no way to call for sacrifices. Their lives for yours. Is that how it works? Their lives meant nothing. No land, no riches, no titles. But my name will live on. The reputation of a good man never dies. But your name will soon be a curse. So be it. The riches I had in life gave me power. To curse me from beyond the grave gives me still more. Though I die, my order lives on elsewhere, everywhere. Yield to us. Give us what we are owed. The trade, the riches, the legacy, all of it. Yield! 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 If your hell is real, I'm glad you'll get to see it. Turn to camp before I let go and burned this heap to the ground. Going forward, I must take care. Houses can be built, crops will return with time. 
trust. That will take longer to repair. But you have a new friend. In the network. But you have a new friend and ally in me and my clan, so the end of the storm now is well in sight. You're right. Taking. I know. It's just it's difficult to see that end when you're still in the storm's eye. Give me a hand with this. with this.
Give me a hand over here.
I need your eyes, my friend. from the other side. Show me what lies ahead.
malevolence. This land bears deep affliction.
is a blessing to one who has traveled far. To he who enters from the cold with frozen legs in need of food and clothing.
Eivor, you've been a guiding light. Calling out Galen like that, exposing his treachery, made me sick with a quiet terror. A betrayal like that is already a kind of death. Galen killed himself. Of course. And now I feel somewhat lifted. The weight is almost gone. Even if my heart needs mending. Ah, while I have you, Eivor, I'm reminded. I have this for you. Keep it, knowing you have my highest respect, regard, and trust. My army is yours, should you need it. Soma Yalskona. My deepest thanks. And... There's something else. As we prepared our assault, Birna had a word with me. We came to a sort of understanding. It may be best if she tells you herself. Until next time, Eivor of the Raven Clan. I hope we will see you in Grandbridge soon. Birna, you struck quite a victory today. Don't undercut your own ferocity, Drengir. It was your blade leading the charge. You are indeed something to behold. We all thought hard. And now Grand Bridge is yours. You have your home once again. Ah, soon merchants and priests and reeves will run loose in its streets. All of its muddy charms will dwindle. Besides, with no room for me in Soma's heart, my home burned away in a quiet little house fire. Her priority is Grand Bridge and the people in it. That is noble, and beyond what I will ever understand. So I've decided I'm of better use elsewhere. With you. In your crew. You want to live with the Raven Clan? And sail and raid with you. If you'll have me. Look at this. Who wouldn't? I'll be happy to have you, Drenga. A relief to these ears. I've already packed my bags. The wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news.
Show me what lies ahead. None living here. Not now. But I have a better proposition than a rousing hunt. If you are a true Drenger, a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins, then you may help. You are a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families. Overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. And now, now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain, his most loyal Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear, when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Together we celebrated the kill, 
as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. It is with great honor I will fight a true Dringer. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory. For the wandering Dringir do I raise my blade. Listen for hoofbeats, and follow the Valkyries home.
May I see your stores? You like the looks of that one? You have a keen eye for quality. This will serve you well. I can get you that one easy. I do good work, I must say. I'm off. Be well, friend. Be well, my friend. I would like to see what you have in stock. Always a pleasure doing business, Eivor. Can't have too many. Yes, great purchase. You should buy that. Done shopping for the day? I must take my leave. So long. I hope to see you soon. What have you got for me today? All my pieces are good, but that one's very good.
Is that what you want? Ready for battle. I have to go. See you soon. Until next we meet. Sunin, guide me. This is fine work, really. Thank you for seeing this done. May I see your stores? This could be very useful. There. You should be able to find it easily now. That's it? I must be on my way now. Goodbye. A good day to you. Keep them out. Good day. We are allied with the Danes of Granderbridgeshire. Their Jarlskona, Soma, has pledged an oath. Well done, Eivor. These early victories will pay off well. They will. 
In more than one way, one of Soma's finest fighters, Vyrna, has pledged her blade to us. She's a powerful fighter, and a charming spirit. I think she'll fit in nicely. Glad to have her. Good work. At one time, the title Jarl referred to a man second only to the king, but that use has softened. Now a Jarl may be a chief, a leader, or a man with broad wealth and influence. The world is bigger now, and broken into many pieces. It seems our language must do the same to keep up. <laughs> An interesting thought. Chilbed, your father sent you here to learn, not teach. Then you must start, Eivor. Give us a summary of our recent gains, for instance. The clan is thirsty for knowledge. You want me to give a speech? Right. My friends, hearken to me, and hear a tale of triumph and toil. I have traveled far since we landed, and seen much on the roads and fields of this new England. And for all my travels, strong alliances have we gained. The honorable Cheowulf, King of Mercia, now called his friend. And to the south, Soma Jalskona and the Danes of Grandbridge have pledged their oaths to us. By Sigurd's hand and my own, we have strengthened the ties of... You seat yourself as Sigurd's equal in these tales of yours. Would Sigurd do the same if he were here? Sigurd knows what I have achieved, and he will celebrate it more roundly than I have. But this takes nothing from you, all of you. For I sit among some of the staunchest wills and strongest fighters I have ever known. And so I raise my horn, first to Sigurd, may he return to us soon. And to the Raven Clan, the best of friends and fighters. To Sigurd! To Sigurd! May he return and relieve us of you! And may all of you enjoy the ale as much as Dag has. Skull! Skull! You think me drunk, Eivor? Would it soften my blows if I was? Your words are blunt enough. But it would explain your boldness. My eyes are clear and open. And I see before me one eager to claim a piece of Sigurd's glory. There's enough glory in the world to go around for all who earn it. And I have no doubt how much I am owed. Just as I thought, you're... Attackers from the river! They look to be Danes! Danes? How many? Too many. Now come, the battle roar is already. Bloody curse! What quarrel have Danes with us? Those who can fight, take up your weapons. All others stay here. With me! <laughs> there is nothing for you here but death! Oh! 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 
Is that the last of them? The rivers are clear. If more were coming, they thought better of it. By their colors and markings, I believe they come from Giedland. Are there none left alive to spill their secrets? We may never know why. Here is one! <clears throat> this vermin was crawling to the river, hoping to float away. Uh, uh, have mercy, friend. And you may find... An ally with us. Mercy is earned by the quickness of your tongue. Where do you come from and what is your quarrel with us? We are settled in East Anglia. Newly arrived and hungry for silver. You drifted off course. This is Mercia. As we were ordered. By whom? You bore me. Useless hound! Scratching your ass in search of silver! Put an end to this one! Your silence earned you no kindness, Geet. So I'll ask you once more. Who sent you? The wind sent us. And the rivers will take us home. He begs for death, Eivor! Give it to him! Or send him home with a warning. Let him tell his people what death awaits them, should they sail this way again. Go, and do not return. <sighs> I thank you. This is not mercy, it is death deferred. Whoever sent you warned them of the slaughter that awaits should any return. Oh, what tales I will tell. Send one of your scouts to follow him. We will find... To show mercy would endanger us, soil our reputation as cowards. This was the only end possible. We could have learned something by tracking him. Now we know nothing. Sigurd would have acted as I did. That is all the justification I need. Sigurd is not here to make such a call, but I am. And if you cross me again, he will know about it. I see you, Eivor. And I know what you are. Put no stock in what Dag says. His bluster may be loud, but it blows softly. Get this cleaned up, and we'll talk of next steps. Way when you aren't using them. Show me what lies ahead. 